Hello everyone, this is Jan from Organics 50 and Raw. And I'm here checking in with you guys. Um, it's Saturday, the Saturday before my 51st birthday. And um, I am uh, just, all, I'm all alone in my house because my daughter is out with her boyfriend, of course. Um, she's 21 and so she's not home very much these days and all the boys have gone to our church to do yard work So I'm like, oh peace and quiet peace and quiet and uh, No wild crats on the computer and I, I Don't oh, I'll show you a picture right now of Caden. He is in really into wild cracks cracks <laughs> wild crats <laughs> Wild Kratz, the last um, two weeks, been learning a lot about animals, but he really wanted us to make a shirt so he could he could do a, a creature power. And uh, he's very, very creative. He made his own creature power discs, and he's always been a very creative little boy. And uh, so we made him a shirt, and so here's the picture of him with his shirt on. So he's been having fun with that, but he, he like, Oh, my kitchen is all like with animal sounds and him flipping all over and slithering on the ground. So he's, he's a lot of fun. Um, so I am alone for an hour and a half. Yay. I mean, not yay. You know what I mean? If you're a mom, you know what I mean? Cause I would not be, I would not like to be alone for more than an hour and a half actually probably because then I'd be calling my mom and I'm lonely. But I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to besides working in my studio. I was, um, yesterday, I'm so excited because I was able to buy a durian and I haven't been able to buy durian where I live since probably March, maybe April at the latest, but it was February, March, or April. I have not been able to get a durian and I was driving the guy at the Tokyo Asian market crazy because every week I'd go in do you have durian do you have durian and finally he told me they're not in season come back in the fall so I went back yesterday and I bought a durian I let it thaw overnight and then got my fingers into it and my kids are going ooh, ooh, it smells ooh, it's gross and well I made durian ice cream okay have a look at that and I made it with a real ice cream maker not in the blender and the food processor but look, look at that, and that's so good. Mmm, mmm. Durian is so good. If you can just plug your nose and get past the smell of it, durian is one of the best amazing fruits I've ever tried. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's got good fats in it. Yeah, it's kind of stinky, but it doesn't bother me any. And so I made durian ice cream because I was given, I was given a Cuisinart fro frozen yogurt ice cream and sorbet maker. And I had been wanting one. I had been wanting an ice cream maker and a lady in my studio, her mother-in-law passed away. But um, she was very much into health and wellness for several years and she had a lot of um, items that they didn't even know what they were. So she was talking to me about them. We've been friends for many, many years. So she gave me an ice cream maker. And also, look at this. I have been truly blessed, you guys. Look at Green Star Twin Gear Juicer. And I, I told her I cannot accept this. I, I have to pay you for it. She absolutely would not take money from me. So I'm going to make her a little gift. Ba gift basket and thank her back with some you know soaps and stuff that I can be a blessing back to her but so I haven't used my juicer yet but it's a really nice addition to my other juicers and I've always wanted a green star but couldn't afford it and I've always wanted a, a ice cream maker but couldn't afford that so God really blessed me and um, I'm very grateful so what I'm up to besides making ice cream is Still playing around with candles. This is test candle number six. Um, I am about to fold up my candle making career and just call it quits. Um, I've talked to a candle making lady in, in California several times 
and I she thinks that maybe I got what's called brood wax instead of cappings and uh, I've spent literally you guys hours trying to get this wax to burn and only anyway it'll only burn a little bit anyway that's if you've been following my videos, you know I think I bought this wax back in August, maybe? Late July or August. And uh, it's just hard for me to give it up because I spent $100 on wax. And I just, my husband's like, just forget it, throw it away, don't use it. I'm like, I cannot just throw away $100. It's just, I can't. I gotta figure out how to make it work. So, the other thing I'm doing is I have my beet kvass here. <clears throat> I have two half gallons. Well, I guess that makes a gallon. And so I'm going to strain that off the beet kvass and um, put some in the fridge. And I think what I'm going to do is freeze some in little ice cubes from my detox ice cube drink. And then fill those containers back up. Now, I, they're not, it's not just beet, but I used red cabbage. I used, in one of them I used turmeric. Um, I used basil leaves. I used lime leaves. And just to kind of get a lot of different beneficial bacteria in there. It does taste good. Well, it tastes as good as beet kvass can taste, and you might think it tastes terrible if you've never had it, but we like it. Even Caden will drink it. The other thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make this, see this recipe? There, it's focused in now. If you do wanna copy it, pause the video. It's just a veggie chicken broth mix. Mix all ingredients together in the blender, and store in an airtight container, Add one tablespoon of mix per cup of water and use as chicken or veggie broth in recipes. So something that I really am missing uh, being raw vegan is a hot uh, broth. I, I miss having like um, a, a hot drink, like a hot chicken broth or you know those little bouillon cubes which are full of MSG. I don't use those but it's really hard to find uh, a cube that you know is kind of satisfying and so I'm I was googling it and I found this recipe so I'm gonna put that together right now in a container and try maybe a cup of it in hot water and before at the end of this video I'll let you know how I liked it so I'm gonna do that real quick because I have the, all the ingredients to that um what else have I been up to over here watching some videos Oh, I'm going to make some, I'm out of lemons for my detox ice cubes. These are organic, so I'm going to juice them with the skin on. I'm going to juice some more turmeric and some ginger and put everything in my ice cube trays to freeze for my detox drink. This time though, what I think I'm going to do is um, put the half turmeric and half ginger and not water down the turmeric. Last time I made the detox cubes, if you saw the video, I did turmeric and watered it down half with water and then put it in the trays. But I've actually gotten used to the flavor of ginger in my, my detox drink, so I'm gonna do half turmeric, half ginger, and no water and see how that goes. And I'm gonna use my new juicer to do it. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm also wanting to see <laughs> in my hour and a half that I have to be alone, <laughs> I have a lot of things that I wanna do. I purchased these videos um, that I'm selling in my studio uh, by, I'm gonna show it to you in just a second, by uh, Dan McDonald, the Life Regen, by Dan, here I am, by Dan McDonald, the Life Regenerator, and it's on juicing. It's um, low fat raw vegan recipes for energy and weight loss. And he has lots of recipes in here, and I wanna view this video. Um, I'm gonna try and do it when the boys are not here, but I would actually like to do it when my husband and my older son Cole can see it with me, and even Caden, Caden would even be interested. Cause you know, when you see something like this, it's motivating. Uh, also, I've been watching Dara Dubonnet. Um, if you've never seen her channel, her videos are really good. Uh, Dara Dubonnet has, um, tonic drinks she's into tonic drinks and i she has one i haven't tried only, i've only tried one of her tonic drinks um and one of them um, i've tried the coffee substitute one and i really did like that and i want to buy more of it but it's 30 dollars a package which i'm not complaining about the price it's totally worth it um but i'm thinking that maybe i can make it and she does give you the recipe in her tonic books so that's something else i'm working on other than that i'm going to go and get all this done and um, 
Oh, you know, I want to let you know. I don't know if you can see my face <laughs> from my chocolate peanut butter cup um, slip up last week. I've been having pimples all week long. I haven't had pimples like this in over six months. And it's like, oh my goodness, what did I do? A moment in the mouth and a week on my face. <laughs> So that will keep me from eating any more chocolate peanut butter cup and I have to tell you there is some still in the fridge and I haven't eaten any since I confessed to you guys I did. So I'm, I'm got to clean up. I've already made a big mess in my kitchen. I'm going to do some juicing and make a bigger mess and have some fun here. So I hope you guys are having a great Saturday.